Hi, this is Doug Gerard of Jackalope Technologies, creators of iAnalyze Racing. Today we're going to cover the installation of iAnalyze Racing for the first time. To do that, this assumes you've already registered for the site and purchased a subscription. And for purchasing a subscription, I really want to thank you. It's important to us, and uh, we appreciate the funding so that we can help deliver this product to you. And quite frankly, we looked at the, this product as your product. We want your feedback. We want your input. We want to make this the best tool that we can so that you can get the, be the most out of every lap on iRacing. We love iRacing. We think it's an awesome product. And hopefully with iAnalyze Racing and its tight integration to the product, it'll really give you uh, uh, more control and more information about each and every lap you race. Anyway, to get started, uh, we have to open a browser. Here I've opened Google Chrome and navigated to iAnalyzeRacing.com. First thing you have to do, of course, is log in. And logging in, you use the credentials you use to create your account. And click log in. And you'll notice that so you bring you're brought back to the home page. And here under Start Analyzing, there's a few options that weren't here previously. As a logged in user, you can do more. So you can install iAnalyze, browse the database, or extend your subscription if you need to. Well, we're interested in installing iAnalyze, so let's get started with that. Clicking on iAnalyze will bring you to the download and installation page. And on this page, you have to make a choice of which version of iAnalyze to install. There's the 32-bit and the 64-bit version. We highly recommend the 64-bit version. The reason for this is that the architecture of 64-bit system versus the 32-bit allows you access to more, more physical RAM than does the 32-bit version. And this will help prevent in-game delays or, or, or stutters because the data, which generates a lot of data, is, is forcing the system to swap memory out from physical RAM to the virtual uh, folder. And that's really important. So we really recommend the 64-bit version of the program. Uh, if you, We do still offer the 32-bit version, so if you're on a 32-bit operating system, you can install that. Uh, and we offer a number of ways to limit or, or to mitigate the limit of, of the amount of physical memory you can get at. We can, and those we can talk about in a, in a, in a later video. But for now, we're interested in installing uh, the new version, so we'll install iAnalyze 64-bit. And we'll click on that, and then we'll go and download down here, and we're going to click Open When Done. So when the uh, download completes, it will open that up. And, of course, the very first thing that the download should bring up for you is a security warning to let you know that, uh, hey, where is this file coming from? What are you trying to run? And you should look for the Jackalope Technologies Incorporated Signature. That's important. important. We cite every bit of code so that you know that anything that you run is safe because it's from Jackalope Technologies and it's properly signed and accounted for. So we click, you're going to click Run, and that's going to launch the install program. And the installation gives you a couple of options here. You can install the uh, program wherever you would like. I typically just run with the default program. And you have to agree to the license terms and the conditions. You can do that by either clicking this box and then clicking Install, or click License Terms and Conditions, and it will show you the actual terms and conditions, which you can print out from here. Uh, and you can just click Accept and Install to get started. When you get started, it will bring up a, a UAC warning, which I can't show you here. Um, and it will verify, it will list the verified publishers, Jackalope Technologies as well. And you can click Yes to that, and the installation will begin. And when the installation is finished, you're now ready to run the program. So we're going to start the program. And we're going to let that run. Now, I analyze racing has a lot of initialization to do. We do we try to do as much as we can ahead of time so that you don't have to wait for things to happen if you're in-game. We do everything we can to avoid any in-game stutters or, 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 or sound stoppages or, or, or what have you. Uh, it's really important to make sure that you have a seamless experience when you're using I Analyze Racing. Now, there are two things you have to do when I Analyze Racing uh, gets started here to complete your session. The first one is you've got to log in, and you use the same credentials that you used to, uh, when you created your account. That's all, all the same. And these are stored locally in an encrypted fashion, so nobody can get them from you. And you click Log In. And this will talk to the site, and it'll come back. And if it's accepted, it'll bring up the next thing you have to do, which is set up the Push to Talk button on your steering wheel. Now, the Push to Talk button has to be a steering wheel button or a, or a button panel button or a joystick or gamepad button. And what it does is it tells iAnalyze Racing that, hey, listen for a command. I'm about to tell you to do something. 
and this is particularly awesome when you want to do a pit stop and you're getting ready on your, you're on the back lap and you're still in a tight battle with somebody and you've got to do a pit stop you can just click the button and say pit stop fuel 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 uh, right side tires only and it will read back to you what you want to do and and so when you stop you don't have to do anything your pit stop will be taken care of for you and so we'll click on set and we'll set a button it'll ask you to press the button and once you do it'll go away and say poof your button is set and now you are all set up to begin your first iRacing se um, session and just for fun we'll test the voice command and we'll say pit stop no service to see what it says I'll press the uh, my push to talk button pit stop no service 10-4 pit stop no service and I analyze racing response and let you know what it's going to do for a pit stop and it always always will tell you on pit stop commands exactly what you told it to do or what it thought you told it to do in case there's any misrecognition so if it says 11 gallons of fuel and you said 12 it will pick up that you'll at least be able to know that the pit stop was set up wrong because it misheard you at any rate um, the next step is to go run some laps um, with ianalyze racing you've got it has to be open before you start your laps um, but you open ianalyze racing go to the go to back to your browser log into uh, iRacing and, and go run a session and you can start recording data and looking at how, how you're doing um, compared to other drivers thank you and i hope the ianalyze racing turns out to be a good tool for you we'd love to hear hear your feedback positive and negative and we really want to hear your ideas of what we can do to make it better and offer more features thank you very much